Hi everybody, um, it's Elaine again here with another project. Uh, this project is based on the Cathy Orta album A Year in Review which you couldn't call it a mini album because it's quite large. The box itself measures 12 by 11. Obviously the album's not that big but um, anyway this is the box I made to house the album um, and it's it's just goes over there um, on Kathy's tutorial she does a sling box um, but I decided to make one that has a flap here and it closes with a magnet so just bear with me a second and I shall take the album out Now as you can see it's quite a large size album and I've made this one as a memory album for my daughter's wedding which actually was three years ago but all the sorts of photographs, this extra photographs that you don't have in a traditional album I thought it would be nice and all their wedding cards and things I thought it would be nice for her to keep all them in here. So there we go, um, just trying to adjust the camera so I can fit it all in, which is a little difficult because it's a big book. Anyway, I think that's about right. So on the cover, as you can see, I put one of their wedding photographs. And I actually used a dome. I made the frame with the nestabilities and then I used a dome to cover it up and edged it with ribbon. And I've kept the album in the colours that my daughter was married in, which is red, white and gold. And then I decorated it with some wild orchid craft flowers and leaves. And I made this little plaque which says Wedding Memories. And I used two little ruby brads. This album of this design of Cathy Orters I think is lovely for the larger style album. And when it first opens you have a file folder. And I've used two buttons and two little centres and a little heart to close it and you can keep wedding cards and memorabilia in there and then underneath that there's two pockets here to slide photographs in. I've taken the photographs out, well I haven't, there's some at the very beginning uh, but most of them I've taken out for the purpose of making the video. Um, and over here you have the triple page. Which again has tags. I've used the Martha Stewart heart punch for these. And then that's just one of the collage type photographs. I've made and then it opens up again and there's two pockets this side and when they turn over there's two more on the other side and again I've used the Martha Stewart punch here to decorate the tags that's a photograph of my granddaughter with a bridesmaid. And then I've used an EK success punch along here. And in each of these little flowers I've put a, a pearl. I'm not sure if you can see properly but there's a little pearl in each flower right through the book. And then again there's another 
pocket here on this side and then you've got a large area and there's a photograph of my daughter in her wedding dress outside the house and then they fold over that folds over and you've got this as I said before this triple pocket again to put photographs, tags, journaling whatever you like in there and then over here you've got two large areas again and here is an envelope pocket again you could keep wedding cards or spare pictures anything really I haven't decorated the pages because I've printed out large photographs for my daughter to put where she wants so I left off decorating it um, there's another picture of her here I think this is my favourite it's a beautiful photograph and again you have these tags again using the Martha Stewart punch and then that folds over there and you start again with another section another envelope pocket and now this is the third section and they're repeated four times when Kathy made it she made it for the four quarters of the year that's why she called it yearography I think um, and she also did a baby one um, and she used it for three, six, nine, twelve months, first year of a baby's life, which again is a lovely idea. I thought it would be nice for my daughter's extra wedding photographs and bits and bobs. Nice way to keep them. Again, another envelope pocket. And then the last section. The paper collection for this is actually Paper Mania's capsule in the red. I looked at lots of papers before deciding on this one, but I thought this one had the correct colours to go with the theme on the day. And then there's another pocket there, envelope pocket. And then the last page is the last file folder. And again, I've used the buttons and... That one says I love you. Oh. File folder, expandable pocket. And then another pocket there. So as you can see, there's lots of room in this book to keep all your favourite things. I think it's absolutely beautiful design. I think very clever lady, Kathy. Um I'm afraid my camera won't come back too far. Let's see if I can show you from further away. The way it opens out. As I say, it's a really nice album to make um, and it's a really good size oops fighting with the tripod and again the box I made this style with the flap I just kept it simple, just decorated it with a EK Success border punch and then the album fits in the box really nicely. Magnet closure and as I say it can stand up on a bookshelf or it can just sit flat on the table. Take me quite a while to make it but I thoroughly enjoyed doing it. Hope you enjoyed it. 
Thanks for watching. Bye.